What is up PSG family and welcome back to our Wing Playmaker series, jumping back into it and as you can see we did a little bit of simulating to the point where we are in the final game of the season. Now I wanted to see where we stood in terms of playoff standing with the record that we have and you guys can see we're actually the third seed. It looks like we got that seed on lock, the Miami Heat can't catch up to us. And you can see we're either going to play, we're going to play the Brooklyn Nets, Indiana Pacers or New York Knicks depending on how this final game of the season goes um, but basically I believe it's pretty much a locked in that it's going to be the Brooklyn Nets but you never know there's a couple of games left in the season for those guys so with all that being said let's jump into our final game against the Minnesota Timberwolves so if we win this game again it doesn't really matter we lose this game it doesn't matter either because we're pretty much locked into that third seed with that being said it is PSG tradition to go ahead and try to go off as much as I can in the last game of the season. On NBA Live 16, before I entered the playoffs, I think I had my guy drop like 80-something points. You know, just to have a little bit of fun. And on NBA Live 18, my guy dropped like a 70-piece. Now, I've been struggling scoring with my wing playmaker, PSG family. I want to be straight up with you guys. It's not as easy on NBA Live as it was on NBA Live 18 and 16, but this guy's not as offensively gifted as my players on those games were. So it's been a bit of a challenge trying to get some more buckets, but I think this is the game that we did it, because look at this. I'm getting two lucky bounces back to back, both of my shots coming off the little floaters in the lane, so a pretty good start for me thus far. Now Jimmy Butler attacks the rim, misses that one. You see me breaking loose on this fast break already. I'm trying to beat everybody. And I do just that as I throw that one down with the left hand. It's quick six points for me. So I might be topping a good amount of points. Who knows how this game's going to go. But I'm, first things first, I'm grabbing this rebound. And I'm looking to push the pace right here. And I'm getting all the way to the rim one more time. Who do, who do they have on me? Anthony, what is Anthony Tolliver going to do against me? That's a horrible matchup for the Wolves. We just got to take advantage of it. Now I'm going across the lane one more time. Another floater, another lucky bounce. I guess this game, for whatever reason, the bounces were just going in my favor. I'll take it. I have a quick 10 points right now. Now Jimmy Butler is on me, so they switched it up. They're like, Tolliver can't guard this man. Let's put Butler on him. Butler can't guard me either. It's like I came off a little handoff on that one. A little step back, pump fake. Getting that. That, was, that wasn't even a perfect release. I was still able to drain that one. So, so far, so good. Taking the three. No, I'm going to miss the three ball, unfortunately. And you guys see Derrick Rose right here. So, I might as well just point it out to you guys. This video was recorded prior to the new gameplay update, prior to the character models update. That's why Derrick Rose still looks insane on this build. Now, running this little pick and roll to Greg Monroe. He finishes that one off as we take an eight-point lead. Now, I'm not too worried about the score. I don't care if we're down by 10. I don't care if we're up by 10. I'm just trying to get buckets. And Anthony Tolliver, get this man off me. Stop embarrassing this man. Just get him off me. He's having a very tough time stopping me right now. Grabbing another rebound. We got about a minute to go in this first quarter. A little pick and pop action with Danny Green. But this time, Wagner sends me away. I thought I was going to have another poster. But they actually starting to lock up on the inside a little bit. Now I got Derrick Rose on me first quarter coming to an end. Kick it out to Danny Green in that corner, and he drills that three ball. He is celebrating that one. So back come the Timberwolves. Look at Anthony Tolliver trying to put some moves on me, bro. He's trying to get some revenge, but nah, instead he's going to turn that one over. There's like six seconds left in this first quarter. I'm throwing up this layup, and it goes in. That is crazy because look at this one more time. Look at this. Between two defenders, both of their big men, good shot blockers, and I am just throwing up that lefty floater. That's the offhand, too. So that's a tough, tough shot. I'll take it. We got a nine-point lead. I got a mismatch. I'm going all the way to the rim. Getting another bucket. I'm telling y'all, if this is the game, I'm going to go for like 50 or 60. This is it. I'm getting a lot of mismatches. Now, unfortunately, they would start double-teaming me. Which, obviously, you guys know, makes it very difficult to score when they're sending two defenders at you all the time. But I'm grabbing offensive rebounds off a free throw miss. Look at this. I'm attacking the rim. I'm grabbing rebounds. I'm doing everything. Now, that was an and one bucket. So I guess everybody fell asleep at the free throw line. They probably thought he was going to shoot two. Now he only shot one. 
38 to 28 10 point lead pull up jumper let's go only a two pointer unfortunately i've been looking to hit those three balls but I'm stepping on the line all the time so you can see they tried to send a double team on this one they left Kawhi leonard wide open that's a problem this team the toronto raptors with me on it we are a problem because they send a double team against me right like you can see them sending double teams the only problem is there's still Kawhi Leonard on this team, and he is drilling an and one three. So Kawhi Leonard is heating up in the second quarter, telling the Timberwolves crowd to just shush it up a little bit. 47 to 30, a 17 point lead, still plenty of time to go in the second quarter. We're grabbing that rebound. I don't know how I left my man open on that. Why am I getting negative points on that? It's literally been like that all the time. I was in his face, I was contesting. For whatever reason, I still get an open shot by your man, uh, negative points. Who knows, man? Anyway, right now I'm going to try to drive to the rim. You see that double team again. But Jonas Valanciunas was cut into the rim, and I found him for a little dunk in that lane. Carl Anthony Towns puts up a tough layup. We are all over them defensively, grabbing that rebound. Kawhi Leonard, another four-point play opportunity. Are you kidding me? This is wild because I'm sure you guys have noticed by now when you're playing the league, there is so many four-point plays. It is crazy. We just got back-to-back -back four point plays. I don't know how it's happening so often, but hopefully they get a little gameplay update to tone that down quite a bit. Cause that is crazy. I mean, we built this massive lead. Look how much we're up by. We're up by 24 points, still in the second quarter. Taj Gibson is on me. I find Valanciunas cut into the lane. Throwing it down one more time. I ain't finding that big man on all those cuts. So second quarter is coming to an end. Jeff Teague is on me. And I get my own four-point play. Are you kidding me? It is crazy out here. Everybody's getting four-point plays. Take a look at this one more time. Oh, my goodness. This is crazy. We've had so many points off of four-point plays. So I just hope and pray that, you know, they just kind of tune that down a little bit because it kind of kills the game when we're getting so many to go in. Anyway, so right now I have no idea what the score is, and I have no idea how much time is left in the game because the scoreboard disappeared. So there's no way for me to inform you guys on exactly what's going on. So lo and behold, I get subbed back into the fourth quarter, and look at the score. 95-87. to 87. We were up by 24, 26 points in that second quarter. Whatever happened is beyond me. I have no idea what the computer did. How they managed to catch up, but we need to put these guys away right now. So we're trying to do that on this fast break opportunity, but we missed that three ball. The Minnesota Timberwolves with a breath of fresh air. They're looking to take this opportunity to cut into the lead, and they do just that. So it's an eight-point game all of a sudden. And I'm like, we cannot lose this game after being up by so many points. Now I throw up a little pump fake, and this time I actually knock down the three ball without getting an and one bucket but we will take it so you guys saw that little stat on the t on the bottom right corner it said I had 26 points in the first half I only have five in the second half so that big old scoring game that I was talking about doesn't look like it's gonna happen but thankfully my teammates are still drilling three balls Danny Green has three of them of his own so with less than a minute to go in this fourth quarter you see the Timberwolves are starting to put some pressure on the backcourt they're still double teaming me which I guess they still haven't learned their lesson I'm a wing playmaker. I'm going to find my teammates. If you double team me, I got good vision like that. So we're under 40 seconds to go. Fred Van Vliet puts up the jumper and he misses it. So now we got to come up with a big defensive stop. And look at this block. How high did my man just get? Take a look at this one more time. I was like, what? Look at this. I got up. I got up on that block. Anthony Tolliver, this is just not the game for you, bro. Look how high I got up there in comparison to the rim. My head is at the rim. So that was a big defensive play. Anthony Tolliver says, I want to shoot again, but he is too shook to make a three ball right now. So I said, I'm going to take this all the way. And look at this animation. I don't know if it was supposed to look like that. We're going to go into the replay real quick, but... Have you guys seen this one? I I don't know about this. What is going on there? Anyway, cool animation. We walk away with this big time W. Getting ready for the playoffs against either the Nets, the Knicks, or the Pacers. We're going to see what happens 
in the final few games, and we'll see who we're going to be going up against. But I'm excited to get into the playoffs. Let's get this series even further and further into the season. Let's see if we could get this title in my first season in, in the NBA. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you guys enjoyed it, make sure to hit that like button. If you're new here, make sure to subscribe, and I will see you guys next time.